Senior day in Wallace Wade was packed with Blue Devil fans as Duke took on number 24 Miami. The Hurricanes were first on the board with a 32-yard field goal. Upon return 79 yards by Stacy Coley for a touchdown less than a minute later put the Blue Devils down 10-0. Still in the first quarter, Brandon Kinnett runs in his first of four rushing touchdowns. Miami answers quickly with a five-yard pass for a touchdown to end the first, Duke trailing 17-7. Opening up the second quarter, Miami's drive is stopped by DeAndre Singleton, who picks off the pass after it's tipped up by last week's defensive hero Devon Edwards. The drive ended with a 22-yard touchdown pass from Kinnett to Shaquille Powell, making the score 17-14. After another Miami field goal, Josh Sneed opens the Duke drive with a 32-yard run. Sneed and the Blue Devils rush for 358 total yards on the day. Sneed's run set up yet another Kinnett rushing touchdown, sending the Blue Devils into the locker room with a 21-20 lead. Duke starting off the second half with a huge drive. Anthony Boone passes 33 yards in three minutes, ending with a familiar scoring play with Kinnett running in his third. Not ready to back down, Miami answered quickly with a strong 28-yard run by Eduardo Clemens, followed by a 50-yard touchdown run by Herb Waters off the quick pass from Stephen Morris to bring the lead back to one, Duke up 28-27. After a Miami field goal puts the score at 30-28, Kinnett with his second huge pass of the night. This one 43 yards to Max McCaffrey and Ross Martin's 48-yard field goal is good. Duke took the lead 31-30 and never looked back. Another run by Sneed, this one at lightning pace as he zooms his way down to the 18-yard line, setting up Kinnett's fourth rushing touchdown to put the Devils ahead 38-30 early in the fourth. Shaquille Powell's 33-yard touchdown run along with another Martin field goal sealed the Blue Devil win at 48-30. With Duke claiming sole possession of first place in the ACC Coastal, Blue Devil fans had something to cheer about, storming the field for the second time in as many years. The 8-2 Blue Devils will face off against ACC rival Wake Forest next week, hoping to get one step closer to the conference final.